How do we really know what is good or what is right, what is evil or what is wrong? Time for us to travel back in time and somewhat learn from the past. Hello again, lovely earthlings. Welcome to an episode of Who Are You Talking To? A show where we review the world, current events, and all kinds of subjects in more ways than one. We must critically think about any topic that comes our way. We also have to review it with a global set of standards before forming an opinion or judgment. Good and evil are concepts. They actually were also seen as ancient forces that have existed for centuries. From the ancient worlds of Persia to today's modern ideas, both concepts have remained consistent and have been seen as an abstraction. I would still say, because we know these concepts from the past, we need to pay respect to certain religions because they have maintained that goodness versus evil morality factor for the benefit of humanity. Not really. The belief systems helped create war, famine, sexism, racism, hunger, terrorism, and the plethora of molestation cases. I mean, that's even applicable now. Belief systems are not just religions. And even if they are, they were, and probably still are, a necessity of our time and communities. Every time period of human civilization has presented a new branch of thought, which if you look at current trends, can be inspired by technological and scientific advances. On another note though, these doctrines or ideological or religious systems don't actually promote any form of a direct violence. These acts are usually prescribed as an effect if caused by an external party or ourselves, within ourselves. While we're describing this guys, can we talk about how these belief systems in the past have interpreted the concept of good and evil? So according to religions and philosophy, evil was basically based on ignorance. Ignorance of truth. You can't handle the truth! And evil behavior itself was an aberration, one that defied any understanding. The path of evil was known as one of confusion and excessive desire, which is related to greed. In some religions, good and evil are one of the same, but evil is usually seen as the absence of good. Many wars have been fought in the name of evil as a cause to manifest dominance and destroy competing forces. Kind of like the freedom wars of today or conquer wars of yesterday. So according to religions and philosophy, goodness is intrinsic to human nature and is ultimately based on the natural love bonding, affection that people grow to feel in other people. In some religions though, good and evil are one and the same. But good is usually seen as the ultimate dominant force. Many wars have been fought in the name of good, but that is only to destroy evil to attain salvation. Or even sometimes to defend yourselves from evil. Now that we've visited the past, and we come back to the present again. What's happening now? Hey guys, thanks for taking the time out to see who I've been talking to. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up or like it on Facebook. Do whatever you can to let me know that you actually like the content. Join me next time so that we can review the world together again in more ways than one. See ya.